there's been a lot of talk recently in financial circles and prepper circles about the probability of a civil war, civil unrest, following the uh, government's election for their uh, uh, chief administrator, their president, in 2024. And uh, there's speculation that either way it goes, something could kick off, there could be like a serious civil war going on. And uh, I just wanted to weigh in on that a little bit and say, I don't think there's going to be a widespread civil war. Um, I think that there could be some civil unrest. Uh, we can call it that. I think it will depend on uh, who, which, which side of the two big sides, which one loses. Uh, they might do this or that or the other thing. I don't know. Um, it will certainly not be something that is reported on accurately in legacy corporate media circles. Um, you can take the genocidal molestation of January 6th and look at how that was reported then and how it is now reflected in history books. Um, certainly the victor uh, gets to write the history books and that's a very good example of, of that happening. Um, and of course I call it a genocidal molestation because it was neither that nor what the history books say it was. It was a mostly peaceful protest, if we're going to hold it to uh, to standards that we hold other mostly peace, uh, peaceful pro protests to. So, might there be something like that? Yeah, if the, uh, I don't know, the gal, there's some ga middle-aged gal, um, uh, I don't know her name, but she's running for the president for the uh, one side, and then there's a mean old grouchy rude dude uh, running for the uh, for the position on the other side. And I, I think if the, the mean old grouchy guy gets in, there are a lot of people who have this, this derangement syndrome. They're so scared of him and hate him so much, even more than me. Like, I really don't like the guy's personality. I don't want him to rule me. I don't want him to rule you, my neighbors. Um, I just, yeah, I wish he would just kind of go away and do a few more bankruptcies, a few more big business deals, get richer, whatever he needs to do, and just kind of go off and enjoy life and not tell the rest of us what to do or take our money and spend it how he sees fit. I also think the same of the uh, the the gal who's who's running. Um, she's younger. I guess she's got that going on. Um, but she's not quick. Uh, like, yeah, I'm sure she can pass a, a basic test or whatever, and I'm sure... She had to to get into law school. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure she's you know average IQ. Um, so so it's not like I think she's an idiot. Um, I'm, I'm I would almost guarantee that her IQ is 100 or above, which it makes her average or above average. So I'm not I'm not making any disparaging comments there. I, I think her actual ability to run people's lives and such would be sorely lacking. I think the other side sees that wouldn't like it if if she wound up getting that. Uh, uh, I don't know, that puppet position or whatever we want to call it, the presidency. Um, I, I think both sides would be upset if the other got it. But the truth is, presidents don't make very many big decisions. And both uh, Trump and um, oh, Wartz, Watts, Waltz, Waltz, it, or it, whatever, the, the gal, I think they both have... Uh, they both have such limited ability to actually make any changes that who really cares um, who that person is in that position? Yeah, they one might be able to pardon somebody or encourage uh, a certain direction or one might be a little bit better or worse at foreign relations. But the truth is, it's not like they're at the top of the stack. It's not like they're making the big decisions. So really, whichever way it goes... Yeah, is is more money going to be stolen from productive people by the government in through taxation? Yeah, of course it'll be stolen more if if the the gal gets it than the guy. Um, yeah, I think that would happen. Would the government become more strong and oppressive and eavesdroppy and violate privacy and have stronger police and military powers over our lives and everybody around the world if a guy gets it? Yeah, probably so. Would my lifestyle as a, a middle-class, semi-retired, now hay farmer, still mess around in our business a little bit, but would my lifestyle be better or worse if one or the other gets in? Yeah, it, it, I'd probably have a better life, 
I think the future of most people's lives would be better if the guy gets in than the gal. But I could be wrong. He could turn out to be a real knucklehead. I mean, he might actually, I don't know. He's not going to do what he says. Neither is she. That's not what politicians do. They're both going to say their thing. They're both going to pretend, oh, yeah, we're really into guns. Have you watched them posturing on this? It's so silly. It's so ridiculous. And they, they think that guns mean hunting. No, guns mean shooting oppressive governments. I mean, that was the reason for the government's Second Amendment was to say, hey, if this government ever gets out of control or anybody else from overseas comes and tries to get us, we want you to be able to, to fight off the tyrannical governments, whether it's ours or somebody else's. Well, now that's completely switched to, you know, I, I, I'm a duck hunter also. I think you should be able to have a duck hunting gun. Um, so that whole thing is, is just ridiculous. I guess what I'm saying is it doesn't matter that much. Some people really think it does, but I don't think those people are that bright or could really do much about it. Um, I don't think they're going to see what to do. So... Assuming that there were enough people who did want to have a civil war, wanted to fight each other, I think something that's kind of important, and this isn't based, this is just a, a thought on my part. I'm not going to say this is a, a, a strong uh, factor that has existed throughout history. Maybe you can correct me on this. I, I would picture, or I, I think I would need to picture my enemy. Who is it that I would put my red dot on and press the trigger? And I can't picture people. I have a bunch of Democrat friends and a bunch of Republican friends and a bunch of Libertarian friends. And as much as we heatedly debate, I don't see shooting them. Um, now, somebody comes onto my property throwing lead toward me. Of course, I'm going to shoot back. I don't really care who it is. But I can't, I can't picture them. I can picture the idea of, of the godless heathen Chinese are going to invade America. And okay, I can see the, the people wearing those little hats and, and, and they're shorter than me and they have darker skin than me and they don't speak my language. Okay, I can kind of picture that kind of conflict. And that's what many conflicts are, is you got to keep it simple. And if you're not keeping it simple, if it's going to be other um, pale looking folks like me, if it's going to be the Irish and the English fighting each other or something like that, well, then you have to have very different uniforms in order to know who it is you're supposed to hate, or you have to have different accents or whatever. Well, the truth is my accent is very similar to all of my good Democrat and Republican and Libertarian friends. Uh, anybody who reads a lot of books is, is a little bit of a thinker. That's who I hang out with, and we all kind of sound the same. We all kind of look the same. We might be different colors. We might be different genders, but we're all pretty similar. We have similar desires and hopes, and kids went to school with each other years ago, and, and I... I, I really have trouble picturing anybody who I want to shoot. I have people who I could, I could see them saying something I'm like, gosh, you don't know much about reason and logic and, and intellectual honesty and, and critical thinking, but I have no desire to shoot this person. And so I think that that's kind of an important factor for any kind of a conflict. Don't you kind of have to be able to picture uh, just in your mind's eye thinking, you know, oh, those are the people who I want to shoot. And I don't really think that uh, the one side wants to shoot long-haired, dreadlocked hippies in with man buns and tie-dye shirts who stink of patchouli oil. Uh, I, I don't, I don't think anybody really wants to shoot them. They just wish those kids would get off their butt and get a job and follow the rules and live a, a good conservative life. And I think on the other side, there are people who are petrified of Trumpites. Um, I, I get that, um, but I don't think, I hope that the the other side isn't thinking about the the allegedly conservative. That's hilarious. But the righties or whatever you want to call them. I don't think they're thinking, ooh, that neighbor right down the road. Man, they all wear those certain color neckties and that's who I want to shoot. I don't think we're thinking that about each other. So I don't really think that's going to... I don't think anything's going to kick off uh, uh, to a large scale. That's my gut feeling. I could be wrong. Um, if I'm wrong, I guess it's kind of a serious consequence. Not that you, you, it's not like you're hanging on my every word to know. It's just, I'm, I'm tossing out my opinion. Okay. And then lastly, how do I think it would turn out? What would it look like if there was some sort of thing going on? If a, if a civil war kicked off? Well, I, I think, I can't think of the guy's name. He's this cool autistic kid who's got an alternative history channel. He's bright, like, oh my gosh, I'm loving listening to him. And I think he made a great point that, well, it's kind of clear who's going to win. Um, who has all the guns 
who has most of the skills that it takes to be to win a an armed conflict, um, like getting up on time, going and working really hard all day. It, it's kind of very lopsided. Who knows how to uh, tie their shoes properly, and who wears who has good strong work boots? Um, who is used to roughing it, and who doesn't think they're entitled to stuff? I think, and it's not my side, but I, I, I'm not in either of those two sides. But I think if we're talking about the left or the right, I think the right would definitely win any war that happens. Um, and I think the the kid makes a good point that the only uh, possible saving grace would be if police and military would line up on the side of the lefties. Um, so if they got on their side, okay, then you know, then there's maybe a chance. But it would still be geographically such a tough thing because who do the lefties, what land masses do they control? Do they inhabit it and control? Well, basically, they own and control a dozen big cities on that are you know really spread out. It's not like the people from San Francisco are going and Santa Barbara and Los Angeles. They are spread out. It's not like they could just get to each other. They're a bunch of good old country boys between who are righties who wouldn't just let those freeways stay open and have their enemies driving back and forth. Like if it came to a real both sides thinking it out civil war. So it'd be a bunch of cut off little city nations versus the other 95% of the landmass that's inhabited by more of a righty type folk. Um, so I, I don't think things would go real well uh, for for the lefties. So I, I would suggest to them that they don't kick it off with the righties. Um, I would prefer that it not happen. I, I'd suggest to the righties that they not kick it off because that's just, that would be like not fair and it wouldn't help anything and it would be rude. And I don't like the idea of initiating violence. So just like do something way more peaceful in that. Like, you know, I don't know, quit paying taxes or just say, no, we're not going to follow that president, but don't be violent about it or anything. Just ignore the government away. Don't don't get angry and go out and kill each other. So that's kind of my rundown, my quick thoughts on this, my suggestion, my begging, my hope for peace. I don't plan on taking up arms against anyone. Uh, I haven't spoken with anyone who plans on it. I, I know that there are quite a few people who are preparing and saying, hey, if it does get nasty, you know, I want to I want to be prepared. Um, but I sure hope it doesn't. And, and, you know, yeah, I don't want it to. And I don't think it will. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think below. Am I off base? Is there some important factors that I'm missing? Let me know.